Some of the best content we do on this channel is when you send me your footage and I break it down. Well, I'll be honest. Sometimes I pull my punches there. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I don't know your skill level. Well, today, I let it all out. Let me introduce you to John. He is a lifelong best friend. He's also been the main editor for my main channel and this channel. And today, we are reviewing his gameplay and his friend's gameplay as they play duos together. And I, I grew up with this guy. I played COD with him. I played all the classic CODs, all the classic Halos. He's an incredible FPS player, but he's more of an arena shooter. He's not a battle royale player. And so I want you to send this footage, this video, to some of your squad mates who maybe BR just isn't clicking for him yet because I try to make it click for John because I know how smart he is. I know how talented he is. He edits all of my videos about Academy tips and tricks. And I make sure he sticks to him, okay? There was, this was a long session, but we break it down, especially in the end game, the critical mistakes that he's making that is costing him easy wins. I mean, this is, this is, it, it, it's so fundamental. It's so basic, but it's also so important that so many people are missing. And I think a lot of you are really going to enjoy this, especially when you're probably seeing a lot of what your squad mates are doing in this video. Okay. If you guys find value in this, make sure to drop a like on it, subscribe for even more. And more importantly, send this to your squad mate who you think would find value in this. So you guys can get more wins together inside of Urzikstan. Without further ado, we kind of make a fast cut and then we work our way to the end game where there is so much value in the breakdown. Enjoy. I love the UAV pop. I would be talking though. I would be having a conversation. Okay, let's make an intentional rap. Yo, what is the game plan? When we pop that UAV, we now have information, right? So it's like, okay, we have players possibly holding us here up on this high ground. We have another player probably floating in. We have a lot of people here and we also have a couple late raps. So as soon as you call that UAV and you have information, this is like a critical moment. You have 30 seconds left. Let's have a conversation. And more than likely the right play is, yo, we're going to rap under the bridge and try to take one of these corner buildings, which is a future high ground. But I always try to strategize when I have that UAV up because I can think three, four steps ahead and I can be like, yo, that building is clear. Like there's no reason that power position should be clear. Get there and go. Yeah, I saw, I just got pinged to the right. Oh, I brought that guy. Oh, that was just So I would be screaming on the right, on the right, on the right, on the right. Life being weak, 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 weak. Something, right? The shots are a little bit tough here, right? Even if you were taking it with your sniper, no, nothing wrong with missing shots here on a burst fire weapon where you don't know the ball velocity. Like, your, your, oh. shot, your shots and tracking don't look bad. I brought that guy. Oh. And here is where this guy is above John. There's no way after you hit him maybe once or twice that he's going to jump off 180 full ape John. But if you can get John's attention and be like, on the right, on the right, on the right, pinged, pinged. Like, then John has the angle to take a shot at this guy, and you guys can team shot him and possibly get a knock. But, like, right now, you have more than likely two players on oh, your high ground. I was just on the bridge right above me, man. On the bridge right above me, that's great comms. Guys, find to your right, and, um, right here, and right on top of me. Okay. Great comms out of John. Like, literal, literally perfect comms out of John. There's a guy right here, life ping, and there's a guy on top of me, on your end, okay? Who is your threat? Is this guy going to pop up and kill you? Maybe, but John's looking over you. Your threat is a guy off of the bridge, peeking over the bridge and ripping. Like, your, your back is completely exposed for back shots here. And what you should be doing is instead throw a Simtex and do what we kind of talked about earlier. Throw a Simtex, run in, 360. Run in, 360. Run in, 360. That Simtex will crack him. John will get the kill. You are fastly closing the distance to get underneath that bridge so you can't get shot in your back. And if this guy chows, he's just going to get his freaking head ripped off. That high alert just went off. And if that guy was smarter, instead of shooting John, who's, who he jumped off of high ground. Dumb play. He's about to get slammed. If he was smarter, he would have stayed high ground, looked over the top of you, shot you, fully thirsted you because he could hold the angle without John covering you. His teammates now smoked, and now it's a 2v1. Behind me, behind me. Challenge that aggressively. I love that. That's another time, man. Get in the habit of pinging because when that smoke pops, you can still shoot through the smoke with your pings, and John can swing around and get the kill. Like, John wouldn't have lost that.
Stop going for the third! Stop! Okay. John got slammed. Unfortunate. Uh, that's pre-nerf Bass B that I think that he's getting shot at. Okay? You have high alert screaming at you on the bottom of your screen. But this is important. You kind of have to win this gunfight. The second that you get that knock, you are now paranoid about the fact that you're going to get your back blown out. So what you need to do instead of go for the thirst, because this guy isn't getting up instantly, you need to drop everything you're doing, be hop over to the right or strafe jump or whatever, put the building, put the bridge pillar between you and the person that's trying to kill you, then go for your thirst and then rotate in. But instead, with only one plate and full health, we now lost that plate. We now lost health and now you're dead. From where? You also should be looking, as soon as you get down, you can see the damage indicator of where it's from. You need to look in that direction, see where that guy is, and then see if, oh, maybe if I strafe six inches to the left, it can prevent me from getting thirsted. Because right now you're not even looking at him. You're not even trying to ping him for John. And even if you're down, you can still provide really valuable information to your team. The other guys. Gas is closing in. Get the other guys. And then here, you fully use your self-revive. Obviously, you have another one in your backpack, but like, John could have tapped you there, and then you drop another self-revive for John. I like this positioning for the plate up. Again, I would be in a panic. Pop that UAV. Getting lit, getting high lit. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Left. Right in front. Anytime that I like high alert comms, instead of I'm getting high lit or I'm, a, there's high, I'm getting a high alert ping, just say I'm getting looked at on my left. Your, your teammate will know. A lot of people run high alert. I'm getting looked at on my left. And then well, you move. Right, he'll follow your lead. Right he'll follow your cover. And left. Right in front as well. Right in front and left. I love that. It's kind of that big picture situational. You're trying to paint a picture for your entire team. Okay. Deep left and right in front. Okay, the guy ran up the stairs. Good comms. I might ask, yo, John, was that you? Did you throw that? I don't know where the hell that thing came from. It was probably this guy up close. We should probably pump for UAV. Good shots, great shots. Nice. My second self is going to come. Cracked him, downed him, good nice. comms. I was making sure you said those. Nice job. My second self is gonna come from I came from above. Like there, John was left without information. Right here, I go up. The second I'd be like, on my right, on my right. Even even without even looking, I would be like, on my right, on my right. And then John could be like that came from I came above. From above. You can if you want. You have to open up your backpack and you can unequip your gas mask and it'll get rid of all of this shatter on your screen. I think it's a really dumb mechanic, but it's a feature. Popping UAV. Love that popping UAV. Nice. UAV orbiting the AO. I think they're above, like, uh, up here. Are you right in my butt? I love this. You're talking. You're clarifying. You, you on me? Like, you got my trade? Great, like, confirmation comms there. But I would also just, like, when you pop a UAV, someone say the intent. Let's go up here and chow this guy. Let's go up here and shit on this guy. He's across. Gas is closing in. Oh, I missed every shot. My bad. A little bit too much air under that nade. There you go. Nice. Oh, no, nice. I thought it was a little bit too much air. I could oh. be wrong. All right, That's UAV, nice quick UAV. We have a long way to go. The safe zone is... And then if I were you, I would have jumped back You're down okay. because You'll there was an ammo box there. down there you could have grabbed and both of you guys could have re-upped your stuff. That's a, that's a minor detail, just because I always try to have full util all the time. All right, nice. I got a flare. Why did he flare his teammate? I have one as well. And music There's a lot go. of people straight ahead, but if we can swing right a little bit, we might get better. Nice. I guess that's a so lot as you're buildings. rotating right, you always got to yeah. be paranoid. And, 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 you, and when you pull up the map, it should have proved it to you yourself, a lot right? Of buildings. We might. If you haven't cleared something out, especially if you're not a, let's say, a very... Unless you're playing in like a, a custom tournament or something, because even I, as a more skilled player, will be in sweatier lobbies, but I'll still have the occasional bot lobby, or I'll still have the occasional bot squad in a lobby. 
right? Always just have that little bit of paranoia, man. You got to be clearing out this very intentionally, even if that just means running and a quick peek, run, quick peek, run, quick peek. That and that could be the team that ends your game. And you're like, ah, oh, dude. Get there. I guess it's a lot of buildings, but like we haven't we haven't jumped to peek that once. Oh, guys, it's coming quick. And then as soon as we see that the zone has pushed people out, then you can safely assume. FOV? I feel like his FOV is pretty high. I can't tell exactly what it is, but I feel like his FOV is like 100 or 100 plus. Everything seems larger. He, I think he is playing with weapon FOV normal, which makes the gun appear larger in your hand. <laughs> Said second self so second self res came in handy. Uh, that's I mean, you could have had John tap you, and then you dropped the self revive from John. Just say it. Running to like where all the people were. I like this. One bot back, like back to our back left. Running to like where all sucks across. Rotation's not bad, except for we're spending a little bit of time, kind of in no man's land. But you, you, like you are cutting to were. cover. I don't really like to stop and look around and look at the Boom, sky unless I'm near a piece of cover that I can prone out, get on the left side, get on the right I'll side. Back, but like, back to our back left. It's minor details. Everything, everything's looking pretty good so far. Your centering still feels a little bit low, and maybe I'm maybe I'm gonna like double check myself and making sure I'm not doing it. But like ideally, and this is a lot more rigorous for something like Valorant, Counter Strike, right? We are always centering where we expect enemies to be. So, where are the threat regions for where an enemy can be? Well, someone can come through here. Okay, well, I'm not going to keep... I'll keep my eye on that, but, like, I'm going to keep pushing up the hill. More than likely, it could be someone coming around the side of this building, someone coming up here, someone coming up here. So, the closer that I can keep my crosshairs to the threats, someone coming up here, someone coming up here, someone coming up here, I will move my crosshair towards where I think someone will be. Now, this is when I'm playing the most disciplined, and I'm sure there are plenty of clips of me and my centering is horrible, but it's just something we as FPS players should always try to be encouraging ourselves is having good centering, because the closer we are to the target, the faster we'll acquire them, and in a game with a ruthless TTK, that's going to help us get some last-second kills. I, I, no, we'll try to get to their right. Good trigger discipline. I like it. You we'll are shooting a suppressed... Video. You are shooting a suppressed cat, so if you shot it, it's not like you'd show up on the minimap. We'll but try it. I like it. To their right. And I like John's idea. I really like John's idea. What John is saying, I'm going to try to get to their right, which basically is saying, I'm going to cut them off and gatekeep them, which is a, an awesome, awesome call out. Or should I not play greedy? People and that's not greedy. He's like, should I not play greedy? Greedy is trying to run in straight at them with the gas on your back. What you need to say on your end, Zach, is like, Copy, I'm with you, or no, I think we can hold them here. And then you have John cut across, and now you guys hold this together. But you just want to make sure anytime, and it's on John's responsibility too, if you say you're making a play, it is on you to make sure you have confirmation okay, comm from your duo to be like, copy, I'm with you, or I'm going to hold an off angle. Because you don't have to do everything together. There's a but, lot of people here. Should we just move uh, out, or... No, let's just get this high ground. Let's, yeah, oh, let's get, that's not into me. Let's get high ground. But, let's get high ground and greet. I like the idea of the high ground. Me personally, I would go to those buildings and hold them, get guaranteed kills, and then rotate high ground. Right? Because if we go high ground, they could play inside of these buildings and grief us for the next 20 minutes or two minutes. So I would have wrapped there, get the super easy holds. They were just in a fight. They're in shambles. Easy hold, and then go and take height. Uh, someone behind me. Great comms. I got highlighted. Okay. Over here I'm somewhere. watching. I'm watching. Okay. A little someone bit more. Me. Let's get high ground. Uh, someone behind me. There's probably a guy up here on this shed, would be my guess. There's more to your right than way behind you. I got highlighted. Okay. Over here I'm somewhere. watching, I'm watching. John, on your end, we always want to make sure no one's coming over our high ground. Even if you're watching over him, I might just do a quick peek check. I called it! Editor, zoom in. Uh, guy right here. Right, anytime, anytime that I'm playing, um, I always try to do, like... Just a little, a little peek check. You know, obviously instant turnaround if your buddy's getting shot at. But if you can, just do a quick peek check. Am I about to get rolled up on? No, I'm good. Okay, I'm looking over you. But in general, we always think, what is the first thing that's going to kill me? More than likely, it's someone coming over our high ground. Let's see. 
Now you got the left. Guys, I got highlight in my back. Yeah, right here. There you go. Your left, left broken. Precision, move, move. Precision on me. Okay. Well, it's not precision, it's a mortar, which means you can kind of hang out in the area a little bit longer. Mortars are crazy in this game. Mortars tank you, so just beware of that. Uh, but John, you should have been live pinging them. Precision on me. I done one. There you go. There you go. Get, get a little quicker about the plating. I done one of the left. That's one of your habits is you're pretty slow to plate up. But this is one of those things where it's scary, bro. If someone shout yeah. you close, you're you're getting slammed. Just because, just because of the DG, not because of, not because of you, but because of the DG. Nice. I was about to say, always try to loot those things up. If you can get a little portable radar out of them, that's all you could need. You got another high alert ping behind you right there. It flashed for like a half a second. Which either means there's a team behind you, most likely the team that you did not get keep. Or it could be someone floating in, because people floating in automatically high alert you. I think we have to cut that way. Oh, so where, where are the comms, John? What did you see? Who are you shooting at? What's going on? What else right here? There's a lot of people over here. Gas is moving. Oh my gosh, we have so far to run. Yeah. So, if I were in your position, and I don't feel confident holding this team, and oh crap, maybe there's a team here, and more importantly, we had a team that was griefing us up here. Right, that is three factors that we need to be aware of that more than likely is just going to put us in one hell of a pinch. Okay, even if we were to fight these guys out in front of us, it's going to take so long that when we go to rotate, we're just going to be the easiest hold in the world. So, ideally, what I would do in a situation like yours is one, I would not rock snapshot grenades, I would rock smokes, and I would say, Yo, let's aggressively push up, throw a smoke here, throw a smoke here, and take this high ground. Clear it real quick and make sure there are no immediate threats or maybe this team rotated wherever they went and then we can hold those guys behind us. But we're kind of letting the game play us right now instead of us being proactive and I feel like it's going to get ugly. There are 24 enemies active. Kill them all. Safe zone's a ways out. You need to get moving. Whoa. Why are we pulling up a mini-map when we're trying to clear out the most dangerous area of the map? Edge of map, late game, inside of a building where you saw players rotating from, and we have our map up. The comms should be screaming right now from both of you. One, John, you shot at someone earlier. Two, we should know from game sense, they're probably on our left. Probably on our left. Watch out for this building. Nothing. And we're both turning our backs! Uh, I guess it's like suicide. Yeah, let's go right. Let's cut right. Which is fine. Yeah. We should be... Yeah, there we go. A little, little more paranoid. Oh, I didn't get the... Like, we... Look. Look at it. Nope, look, at look at the building. Oh, no, I, I didn't get the jump. Someone there. And that's where you'd be having that conversation. If we're looking for someone on the left, where are they? Where are they? Don't see... Oh, it's probably them over there. Right? So then we're building this mental model of like, okay... So we no longer need, need to be paranoid about the team that's behind us, okay? The team that behind us is more than likely this guy right here. So now you can basically cross all of this area out of your mind of confidence of like, okay, so this team rotated through this area of the map, which means that area of the map is probably clear, and we see them, so we have 100% knowledge about basically everything that's going on right here. What have we not cleared? Well, the old team that was holding us from this area and all four buildings that we're turning our back to right now. This is hey, you're not going to get that kill, and you're just telling the entire world that you're here. Maybe taking a shot with a snipe, I don't mind. If you want, you can jump off of those right now, and you will fly down to the ground really fast instead of getting stuck in that animation. Okay, okay. It's not horrible. I want to be clear. When I'm being like... If I'm being that hard on someone that I'm reviewing, it's because I have confidence that so much of their other, like, the rest of their game is dialed in that they're this close from being, like, a wicked smart player on the map. It's just, like, they've got so much of it, they're just missing a couple little things. Oh, don't go up here. Okay, 
Yeah, that's not good. Good cover. Totally fine. He goes up there. He realizes, oh, shit, that door is open. That guy could rip my head off. Let's get out of here. I feel like someone in this building. Good comms. Yo, there might be someone in this building. If you think there's someone in this building, do we want to be clearing it out with no gas mask? Where they could be sitting in any corner? Mm, nah, I'm probably going to rotate the outside of this building. Probably rotate the outside of this building. Maybe smoke across right here and then breach this building and then try to hold someone, right? I'm not trying to breach and clear a building that I have no information on. You just saw that loot pop off to uh, your right? Left, deep. Wait. Moving here. And... I down one. I finished one, there's another one. I think those are all great comms. If I'm you, Zach, what you're doing is brilliant. I don't know if you're doing it on purpose, but what you're doing is brilliant right now. You're basically saying, like... I mean, I hope... Is... John's taking those kills, I would be calming. I got your right. Basically, like, yo, John, have fun. Be like, yep, copy that, I'm watching your right. So then John can kind of strafe out into the open, knowing that he's not about to get his head ripped off. There's another one. Got gas inbound. Safe zone. Oh, I have a good okay. spot. Play it up. Play it up. Play it up. I'm guilty of it sometimes, too. You just changed your gun to semi auto. I just screwed up my gun. I just went semi auto. Good. Press the B key. Bravo key. There you go. Cool. So we just wasted probably the most critical time in the game. Okay, the zone's about to move. You did a really nice job of taking a piece of power position, maybe getting some kills. But the last thing that we want to do is be the last ones roting, rotating in on one of the final circles. So we should be having a conversation of, you know, what's the game plan, right? We see that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven buildings, probably twelve. 13 and even more are all going to be pushed into because there's a ridge line right here. There's a natural ridge line of cover right here and a natural ridge line of cover right here. You can tell that just by looking at your mini map. There's going to be the entire world fighting for that. And that's fine if you want to try to take that early and hold them. But we need to have these conversations instead of. Like, you got gas inbound. Safe you got gas inbound. The second that zone pops, we see where the pole is. That's when the conversation starts. You got 30 seconds to figure out your game plan. Oh, I have a good okay. spot. No, I have a good spot for... your 50-meter rotation. Get out of here. Jump up here. Figure out what's it look like to the left. What's it look like to the right. We can see someone way up here on the top right, and they're probably going to be the guys that are winning the game. You can tell by body language from this guy, if he's incredibly confident to look over this, this ledge, that probably means all of his back is clear which based on 15 players left on the lobby, that probably means this is very dense. Okay? Those moments when you hear this sound. You got Rip. New zone. What's the game plan? Gas inbound. Safe zone. Oh, I have a good okay. spot. Ten seconds. Twenty seconds. No information. No comms. No movement. Not clearing. Screwed up my gun. I just went semi-auto. Good. How do I change that? B. Okay, I think. I'm Thirty seconds. Not a single comm in circle six about what the game plan is. Gas is closing in. And this is where you need to be screaming at each other. Come with me. Come with me. I'm clearing right. I'm clearing right. Copy. I'm with you. I'm with you. Got your res. Got your trade. Nice. Hey, I'm going to flare you real quick. You know, like. Move to the safe zone. Zach, oh. you're doing a good job of like following John. It kind of seems like John kind of leads the pace sometimes, which is fine. John, you need to be telling him what you're doing and be like, get with me. Get with me. Get with me. What's the plan? What are we doing? Someone behind us. I just got highlighted. Hi. Okay. Great comms. <laughs> okay, let me let me put you in my position. Exactly what I would say. John, guy here, guy here, not dead. Crossing, crossing. 
Guy on my right, guy on my right. There's a team on my right. Let's wrap left. So then what you can do is you can go, okay, there's a guy here. You don't know where he's at, so you know he's here. Let's cross left. You can then look left, see if there's someone left. If there is someone left, then you can amend your plans. But if you fiddle your thumbs and wait, then the gas may be on your back by the time that it's time to build plan C, plan D, plan E. Cool. Let's rotate and hold them. Okay. Okay, John's kind of doing it. I guess we're crossing. I, I, I guess we're crossing the highway. Uh, team of two on my left. Let's take them out. Let's go. Let, even if it's the wrong rotation, do it assertively and do it together. Like, does John even know you're shooting at those guys? D Let's take this ridge right here. Um, after we. Ten remain. You're almost done here. So this is scary. I like where John's mind is at. He was like, ooh, natural cover. Let's try to take this ridge. Not a bad idea. Except for, there is the most disgusting head glitch in the world that's a football field long with a load of players coming out of it. Okay? They're going to be the ones to kill you. Other option, even if you have to double back, is, yo, let's get on this side of hard cover and then you can hold this hard cover, kill everyone that's coming in, and then you play from the hard cover later. Ideally, smoking in, but we're still rocking snapshots, which you haven't thrown a single time this map. People to the left, so be cognizant of that. Oh, there's smokes on the right, and they have a head glitch. Okay, more than likely. Are the guys on the left going to push up and over a hill? Probably not. There should be comms here. Focus right, focus right, focus right. Nice. Them. I think the gas got. Oh, no, you're yeah, right. We're up to the Relocating the safe zone. I don't have a grenade. Yeah, can you fit? Ah. Oh, no one, no one. Wait, you didn't finish her? No. Like, oh, Zach. Zach, brother. I don't, unless your absolute life depends on it, need to world star TikTok Twitter clip slam someone. Get out of the freaking open when you're taking these engagements. You have a God's head glitch out in front of you. That one you could have prone behind and we would have naturally body blocked this entire roof like hill right here. And you can hold everyone that's coming through here. Right. And you got to you got to have these conversations about like, oh, let's take the ridge line. No, people are going to rotate and hold us. Oh, okay, let's just take this prone out right here and we'll be fine. Uh, and then we let him... Target down. Nice. Someone yeah. else killed him. I think the gas got That, the, the comm was like, someone else killed him. Like, kind of nonchalant. Someone else killed him. Like, there's, there's one more. There's one more. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, the the Relocating the safe zone. And just mantle it. Honestly, just jump over that crap and mantle him. I don't have a grenade. Yeah, can you f it? No one, no one. You said, I don't have a grenade. I guess you tried to double back and throw a grenade. Wait, you didn't finish her? And that's fine. I'm not hating the idea of you pushing this guy. But instead of finish strafing her? out in the open. No one, no one. Wait, you didn't finish her? Strafe here into this box. Oh my god, that took that guy took a nasty nice. heady. And then immediately the comm should be focus top, focus top, because that is the threat. Always be thinking about what the threat is. I thought I did. I, I like, like like we are we are we are oh, yeah, way oh, yeah. too We are way too nonchalant here! What are we Any moment someone comes over this hill? John, you too should be screaming at this guy. All of this is potential death, right? What, it, what is our focus? We know there was a team on the left, and there's no way in Warzone history that there's not someone on top radio tower on top of a hill, right? You cleared out the back. Okay, maybe there's, maybe, God forbid, there's another team here, a guy's making an insane gas play, but where's the cover? Let's get on this side of the hill that, you know, we can peek left we can peek right if someone chows us right we use natural cover and we shimmy over to the left 
and vice versa. But right now... Okay, you say you want a close range gun. Not worth it at that point, brother, but... Clear left. Clear left. Left clear. Then you start moving up the hill, right? Start breaking this zone down. Okay, I'm going to clear left. And you clear out the zone. All right, left clear. And then you have this whole zone that you don't have to worry about anymore. Then you peek top. Top right clear. Okay, now you peek left. And you, you break down this lobby intentionally and always near cover in the event that when you go to clear it, you're not getting your head ripped off. Get to the safe zone. We know once to the left. We know once to the left. Great calm. Great calm. But we got to be playing for it. I don't have a ton of ammo. You don't happen to have a... Uh... It's... I mean, yeah, I guess not having a ton of ammo kind of sucks, but you still have a full mag, which is more than enough to handle in duos. And more importantly, your priority shouldn't be, okay, loot, let's organize our backpack, let's find a close range gun. It should be the second that you finish this unforsaken fight right here, you should have five arms screaming in the back of your head that someone's going to get kill hungry and look over this hill from any one of five directions. So the second that you finish that, it should be clear top, clear top, clear top, clear top. And then if you look over and you're fine, then it's like, okay, cool. You got any ammo? Okay, we're going to have to break that building. We're going to have to break that high ground up there. But got another. Nice. way to play it up fast. I love it. I thought I did. I, I screwed up. What, 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 what are we doing here? What are we doing here? John, what are you looking at? I thought I You got the kill. The kill's... Did. I, I screwed up. Just... If you guys don't look over this hill... It's all good. That's all good. It's all good. Take me another gun. John! Stop looking at him! Clear his back! I'm looking at the minimap. That means um, it, all you guys are looking at in final circle is this FOV right here. Gas is inbound. I'm having an aneurysm. Get to the safe zone. Three twos. Great comms. This is how many people we have left. Why have we not peaked this freaking hill? I don't have a ton of ammo. You don't happen to have a... Uh... Oh, let's go heads oh, down okay. and, and, and loot our backpacks a little bit. Yep. Yeah, you're not, the zone's not closing or anything. I'm fine with this. I like this. Don't clear. We aim down sight, right? In a zone this small, what you want to do is either snake, but that's really advanced, or just kind of like sprint up and back, sprint up and back. And you're looking and you're clearing with a wide FOV. And then when you see that someone's there, then you center in his direction, aim down sight, and then peek. But this, walking up a hill, aim down sight, is asking for your head to get completely ripped off. Uh, someone's over here. Great comms. I'm down with taking those shots too. But let's clear our right real quick. One, and you've got someone chow on your left. Order, a sniper, watch out. Yeah, I cracked him. Um, I need help, I need help. Fire. It's almost like someone said clear your right. As soon as I take that shot, I'm confident. Okay, we know where two are. Fill in the puzzle, right? Is this team, think about it. In retrospect, obviously, everything's gold in retrospect, and I'm pausing, and everything's slow-mo, beautiful Isaac, and backseat gaming. But this guy right here, and you eventually find out this guy right here, are they any threat to you whatsoever when this zone closes? Well, no, probably not, because then they're going to be down inside of a valley right here. But if we wrapped and held this spot right here, this is where the threat is coming from. As soon as you realize those guys are like, oh, we could possibly hold them, instead of hard focusing it. Both of, you, both of your mini-maps. Tunneled. Order, order, sniper, watch out. Yeah, I cracked him. Um, I need help, I need help. Fire. Oh my, I'm not too marked. I love the full sin for the homie. Okay. I do love the full sin for the homie. Let's say 
We got really tunnel vision. Um, I okay, we got out. really tunnel visioned. I probably wouldn't be re-peeking a sniper unless I have a sniper myself. Um, I need help. I need help. Instead of I need help, the game is telling him that, John, because you're downed and you're thirsted and he's getting all that he's getting all that info. You should be screaming location and elevation. Top right, low right. That's the only thing that he cares about right now. Fire! On your end, you just challenged the exact same angle that John fr died from, unprotected and out of cover. Right? Oh my, I need help. I need sniper. Watch out. Yeah. Alternatively, you could move up here, maybe prone out, and just say, John, you f***ed up. You're dead. And hold that prone right there. An option. But what I wouldn't do is just go... Um, I need help. I need help. Oh my, Where they I'm at? not too mark. Where they at? Let me at him. Okay. John's dead. 100%. John's dead here. Option, I would scream, John, pop, 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 pop. Meaning, like, kill yourself. And then you can flare him back and then try to make a play from there. But this, let him die. Let him die. And, and sometimes in the game, you just got to clutch up a 1v1. Right? You have a gas. You don't have a gas mask, but you do have a flare. John, pop. You wrap around here. You wait for John to come back. You flare John. You maybe try to make a little bit of a gas play. You self-revive. And you try to make it to where those other guys can, can fight. But you got yourself in such a weak position. Zone closing. You haven't cleared your high ground. And you're focused on someone outside of zone. They have a sniper. Watch out. Yeah. I cracked him. Um, I need help, I need help. Fire. You should be screaming location, John. Top right, top right, over the hill. On my, on my two mark. On my two mark. Not bad, but your two mark is like 10 meters short of where he actually is. On my two mark, over the hill. If you realize your ping sucks, clarify where your ping is. Over the hill, over the hill. Not on it, you will live. Taking it back. And then you just have to expect there's no pressure on that team that killed John, right? There's no pressure. They already killed John. More than likely what they're doing in that situation is they're just reloading and they're going to chow the exact same spot. It's on your, it's on, it's your responsibility after John goes down there. And if they're not chowing you, you have to move up here, take this head glitch and try to win that gunfight. Okay. While you're taking this head glitch, you tell John to pop, you throw up a flare and you just try to play your life and hope these guys don't 2v1 you over the top and that you don't get pinched from the back. But we were too slow on power position there, and turning our back to the enemy is never going to be the play, especially if we don't hear gunfights. If we hear gunfighting, that they're getting third party, that might be a different scenario, but nothing else happening. I do respect full sending for the homies, though. We shouldn't have looked, we shouldn't have looked across. We should have kept watching our back. Yep. Yep. That victory's ours next time. Oh, he had one HP when he killed me. Not bad. Hard on you guys. Because I know you got all the other fundamentals. Big picture. I'm not sure if your centering's great. I will have to I'll I'll, I'll yeah. like you have a tendency of, of of putting it low. Oh no one got that. Like I'm just fast forwarding. Oh nope. You have, you, have, you have the tendency of putting your, your centering into the ground. But. All the time, your centering is low. Your centering should be up, looking up, because are we going to have enemies appear here? No, but we're going to have enemies appear on rooftops, even if we're downtown and higher rooftops exist, or possibly people dropping in. Okay, always be ready with centering. Um, your comms are a little bit unclear, and on both of your ends, your rotations are, are lethargic and unintentional. And we're 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 getting we're getting tunnel visioned on holds, which holds are great free kills. I think we have to. But guess what? People that hold become the whole D. Cut that way. Rotate oh, there's intentionally. Right there's a lot of people over here. Gas is moving. Oh my gosh, we have so far to run. Figure it out, right? Well, oh my god, we have so far to run. There there are, the, there are these moments. The fact that you're having that little thing in the back of your head, the spidey sense, that should just tell you, let's rotate. And then as you're rotating, then you form the plan, right? You guys may not know the map well enough that you can form these plans on the fly instantaneously, no matter, where, no matter where you're at. But you have that conversation. We have a long way to go. Let's rotate out. We'll hold them later. Um, turn your freaking music off. 
Look into changing your weapon field of view to wide. Look into changing your crosshair to static. Okay. Take off your gas masks to, okay. to get rid of this, um, you know, crackle effect on your screen. You got gas. There's another this one. sound right here. You got gas inbound. So Build a plan. When you get into circles four, five, six, seven, every time that circle plans, the very first thought in your head should be, where are we going? Where are we going? Where is the power position? We got to get their setup before someone else does. If someone's already there, how are we going to break it? What equipment do you have? Do you have any airstrikes? Do you have any lethals? Do you have any utility? Oh, what the frick are we holding onto snapshots all game? Okay. Spot. And remain. You're almost done here. There's people to the left, so be cognizant of that. Target down. Nice. Someone yeah. killed him. You said nice and. You're, well, I think the gas got up that. You said nice, and there's gunshots going off, and you think that he got him, but you got the kill credit. Target down. Nice. Someone yeah. else killed him. I think the gas. Unless you just thought he was shooting in the gas. Yeah. Oh no, you're right. Yeah, else him. So I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna relive it. I this I I was a little bit ugly. Yeah, Make sure you're near cover. You have a. You have a tendency of loving no man's land. And then get your eyes over the hill. We we emphasized it again, right? After that fight is over. Okay, we'll clarify it one more time. Nice. Boom. 10, 20, 30. It took you 30 seconds after that gunfight to peak your threat. I, I, three seconds after I finished that gunfight, I'm like, oh my God, we have to check the back of our hill because we should be dead right now. Someone should be taking our high ground right now. Uh, someone's over here. Team on our left. Where's the last team that's alive? You called it out. Two, two, two. Order supported. Got a sniper. Watch out. Yeah, I cracked him. And it oh. looks like John was going I'm, to clear the right. Got a sniper, watch out. Or, yeah. or you were just worried about the sniper. I cracked him. Yeah. I, I, I don't. I, I don't. I don't need to. I don't need to beat a dead horse. Oh, he had one HP when he killed me. Oh. I hope that helps. I'm sorry if I'm being tough. I only do that because I know you guys are both very skilled FPS players. So I'm being I'm being harsh on you on the BR knowledge because I know you're good FPS players. You're shooting really straight. Your centering is a little bit off. But your shots are straight. So change your loadout. Make sure you have a close range gun. Add those smokes. All the other things that I mentioned earlier. Good gameplay. Comms could be a little bit more crisp and a little bit more clear. And uh, yeah, I, I want to see another video in like two weeks from you guys or or a month or a week. I don't care. If you feel like, yo, Isaac, we learned a lot, resend it to me and we'll review it again as the Academy. If you and the Academy enjoyed this and you feel like you learned a lot, make sure to send it over to your squad mate because your squad mate's probably messing up the same things, okay? There's a lot to be learned here regardless of skill level. It's all about Kim, all about energy, all about synergy. And uh, I hope you guys learned a lot from this coaching. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for even more and join me live over on Twitch where I do this live. See you on the next one.